All right, so now we'll be looking at some exercises from 7.1. Uh, so which of the following is a factor? So this is like factorization. So you have cos x squared x plus cot x minus 31. Um, so what we can do is try to factorize this. And this is cos x squared. We can write everything in terms of cot, right? Because we know that one plus cot squared is equal to what? So it means that this one can be written as one plus cot squared x plus what? Cot x, then minus 31. So we just replace this one with this one. Yeah. So this is one plus cot squared x. Now we can rewrite this as quadratic. This is cot squared x plus what? Cot x, one minus 31 become minus 30. Yes. So this is like factorization now. If you look at it, you can say, for example, you can say let y be what? Cot x. So that you have y squared plus y minus 30. And this you can factorize easily as what? Minus five. And what? Plus six, right? Correct? Yeah, so these are factors. And uh, since these are factors, now you have two factors. What is y? But y is cot x. So you have cot x minus 5 and cot x plus what? Plus 6. So which one is a factor? It's only this one. Cot x minus 5 is also a factor, but it's not included in the option. So we can pick. So the answer is just cot x plus 6. Now, example number two. Example number two is this. Also here, also you have to rewrite. This is going to be sine. This is sine t over what's cosine t, right? Or if you look at this, we want to simplify the expression. We can try to make the LCD. Yeah? What would be the LCD? The LCD is one minus one plus sec t and what tan t. So it means that here we write it as tan t over tan t multiply by that and here we write it as a okay yes one plus sec t one plus sec t we're just trying to make the lcd to be the denominator to be the same so here we still have tan t over one plus sec t and there is a plus here and here is just going to be one plus sec t over what over tan t now, if you look at this now, it becomes what tan squared t plus one plus sec t all squared. Then everything you divide by what? We divide by tan t into one plus sec t, right? So let's try to simplify this. This is going to be tan squared t plus we expand, this is one plus what? Two sec t, then plus what? Sec squared t, divide by tan t, okay? And one plus sec t, okay? Now, um, what can we do? We see that what if we have uh, this one, tan squared t, you see that tan squared t plus one is equal to what? 
Uh, we say tan squared t is equal to what sec squared t, right? So this can be seen as what sec squared t plus what two sec t plus another sec squared t, okay? Over tan t into one plus sec t, right? All right, so if you look at the first, this term and this term will give us what? Two sec squared t plus two sec t, right? Over tan t, one plus sec t, right? Now, we're still going, not done. Now, what can we do? We can, we can factor out two, sec t so that we have what sec t plus one over tan t into one plus what sec t now if you look at this this and this can go right once we're able to achieve that then we have a more simplified expression which is two sec t over what tan t now, but if you look here, you see that all the options are one term. We need only one term. Uh, we need a, just, we don't need a denominator. So this we can write as two sec t times what? One over tan t, see that? But what is this? This is two sec t times what? Cotan of what? Of t. <laughs> Now, this we can still write it. What is sec? Sec is the same thing as one over cosine. So this is one over cos t times, remember this is cot t. Cot t can be written as what? Can be written as cos sine t over, can be written as cosine t. Remember, this is cotan here, so take note. Okay, so this is cosine t over sine t. And now cosine and cosine will go. So we are left with just what? We are left with uh, two over sine t, which is nothing but two cosec t. All right, so let's move to another one. Question number three in the exercise. Now, for question number three also, we're asked to what? To simplify. Um, here, we just need to use uh, how to what? How to factorize difference of two cubes. Uh, we know that what? If you have A cubed minus what? B cubed. This is nothing but a minus b, then a squared plus a b plus what's b squared. So this is, let me write it again, x cubed minus cosine sine x minus cosine of x. So if we use difference of two cubes in the numerator, uh, we can take by taking a to b sine x, and take b to be cosine x, we will have just what sine x minus cosine of x, then what sine squared x plus sine x cosine x, then plus what cos squared x. Everything divided by sine x minus what cosine of x. So sine squared x plus cos squared x will give us one. So this will be sine x minus cosine x into one plus what? Sine x cosine of x. And everything we have sine x minus what? Cosine of x. So, 
So this and this will go. So we are left with one plus sine x cosine of x. Hmm? Then um, number four, we have sine x plus cos x multiply by what? By cos squared x plus one over set x cos x multiply by one. So let's see. Now for this example, if we look at here, look at the terms, this is sine x, this is cos x, this is cos x squared x. So we can think of identities. There's no clear identity we can use now. So we can just convert everything to sine and cosine. And let's see, this is sine x plus cos x is one over sine x. And then multiplying by cos squared x plus one over this now it's one over cosine times one over what sine minus sine x over cosine x. So we can try to make the denominators the same. Um, so here we can multiply these by what by sine x over x. And this we can multiply these by what sine x over x also over sine x. So here also we can multiply these by just sine x over sine x. Now why are we doing all of this? So that we can all have the same the same denominator. Right? So it means that this term, look at this term, the first term now will become sine squared x over sine x plus this middle term is still cos squared x over sine x plus this now is now sine x over sine x. So you see it's good now. You have sine sine in the denominator divide by the denote everything here will be just be one over cosine x sine x then minus sine squared x over cosine x sine x now we can we can add everything to under the same denominator so here this will be sine squared x plus what cos squared x plus sine x over sine x, then divide by, this one will be what? One minus sine, okay, one minus sine squared x over what? Over cos x sine x, see? All right. Now, what else can we do? If you look carefully here, you will see that here you have sine squared plus cos squared. Now, this is going to be one. So this is nothing but uh, one plus sine x over what? Over sine x, then divide by this one here, one minus this, this is nothing but cos squared x over what's cosine x, sine x. So with this, now we can move it here. So how can we write this term? So these terms can just become what? We, we're, we're just here now. We're dealing with these two terms. So this we can write as one plus sine x over what sine x. Then times, this would just be, we would cos x sine x over what? Cos squared x. Right. 
And now this is going to be one plus sine X. Um, if you look at this, this sign will go with what? With this sign. And um, one cosine will also go with one cosine, yeah? One cosine will also go with one cosine. So we just have one plus sine X over what? Cosine X. And this we can write as one over cosine X plus sine X over cosine of X. And this is simply sec x plus what tan of x. Yeah. Now look at number five. Number five is what is tan. So here also we can try to convert it. Uh, this one is tan x minus sec x over what over tan x plus sec x. So when we when you can't think of any identity to use straight away, just what convert things to sine and cosine. So this is sine x over cosine x minus one over what cosine of x. Then divide by, this is also sine x over cosine x, now plus one over cosine of x. Uh, this, you can see that both of them are kind of the same. So you can, you can write these as sine x minus one over cosine of x, divide by also here sine x, plus one over what cosine of x. And now if you look at this, what will happen? This cosine x will go with cosine x. So we just have sine x minus one over sine x plus one. All right. Now we can multiply. So we can multiply this by the conjugate of the denominator, which is going to be sine x, um, sine x minus one over sine x minus one. And if we do that, this will just become sine x minus one all squared over this times this one, which is sine x plus one multiplied by sine x minus one. And this is what sine x minus one all squared. This is a difference of two squares, which will be sine squared x minus one, right? But if we look at all the options, look at what we have. We have a minus outside. So this, we can write it as sine x minus one all squared over. Now, this is sine squared x. Sine squared x minus one is nothing but what? Minus cosine squared x, right? Yeah, so because we know that what? We know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equals to one, right? So if you take one to this side, it becomes sine squared x minus one, but you need to take cosine to the other side, which becomes minus. So that is why we have this minus here. And then this will become, you can take this minus up so that you have minus sine x minus one squared all over what? Cosine squared x. So this is the answer A. All right, so thank you for watching this examples. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like and to forget to share with your friend as well. And if you are yet to subscribe, kindly do that. Thank you for watching.